These are tundra swan prints here. Pretty big. Some geese, some waterfowl, maybe some gulls. Those are almost as big as a moose print. Almost as big as my hand. You can see where they were probing around in the mud, their bills, just pecking, looking for inverts and stuff. It's been a busy area. A lot of birds visiting this little mud patch. The focus of our experiment is to look at the impacts of how climate, increased warming, earlier springs, shorter winters are affecting the phenology and growth of Carrick subspathacea, also known as Hopner's sedge, which happens to be a very important food resource for the geese here in the delta. The subspath has a very high nitrogen to carbon ratio and therefore makes it very desirable for growing young goslings. Goslings will spend an inordinate amount of time grazing on these lawns, getting fat. As you can see from a lot of the fecal deposition that's happening on these lawns, that's where they're eating and pooping and walking around. This is where our experiment is focused on because it is such an important resource for the birds in the Delta. The dynamics of the geese and the lawns changes over time and historically there's actually been a lot more grazing lawn out here in this part of the delta. I've heard stories from researchers who've been here in years past 10, 20, 30 years ago and they come back and they're shocked at how little grazing lawn is actually left out here. This looks like a spot where a goose came and pulled out a bunch of vegetation and hollowed out this nest bowl and this is where she would have established her nest and it would have been about this big and the eggs would have been in the center here and she would have sat here for about three weeks. Yeah. And this is where little goslings would come into the world. <laughs> it's likely a combination of a lot of different factors. The Black Brant colony has actually been on decline for the last 15 years. And their numbers have been steadily going down and we don't entirely understand why that is the case. So this year was unusual in that we had really high frequency of fox predation, specifically here in this part of the colony. And early in the season, there were quite a few number of brant nesting right here behind our camp and even in camp. We had several foxes come through and eat the eggs right out of the nest, pull eggs and then hide them and they'd cache them to come back eat them later in the season. And unfortunately a lot of nests failed and the females and the pairs that had failed nests sort of abandoned the area and moved on. Some moved on to the north slope and some probably moved on further up the coast. Now there are not a lot of birds around. On a normal year behind me you would probably see several dozen broods running around little goslings following their parents, a whole bunch of cuteness, but it's pretty quiet at this point in the season. With less geese out here to maintain these grazing lawns might lead to change in vegetation succession and new plants coming in. The subspath grazing lawns actually growing up and becoming less desirable for the birds to feed on. Another theory is that increased storm surges has led to more frequent inundation as well as more sedimentation of this wet, muddy substrate coming washed onto the land and actually covering some of these grazing lawns and washing them out and preventing them from growing through. Behind me here, this is evidence of some of the fall storm surge deposition that swept across the landscape. So seawater coming in from the coast during high wind events off the Bering Sea came in and just inundated and totally flooded the landscape and moved a lot of dead organic material into these ponds and across the vegetation. And I don't know if you can see this, but this is a, a clamshell that originated somewhere several miles from here, but ended up on the land after the flood. So there it goes. I believe in 2005, there was a flooding event where that deposited about 10 centimeters of mud all over this part of the Delta. We lost a good chunk of grazing lawn along the coast here in a single event. So with future climate scenarios and more frequent storm surges coming in off the Bering Sea, it's likely that there will be more of these events that may alter the vegetation communities out here in the future. Mm -hmm.